Okay, here's everything that happened in medicine and healthcare today, and it is August 26. Starting us off today, the American College of Cardiology has recommended that vaccinations be a part of standard care for individuals suffering from heart disease. Their main vaccination targets are ones like shingles, as well as other upper respiratory infections like RSV, even COVID-19, and even the common flu. Moving on to the CDC, they've announced that they're going to be stepping away from a program called FoodNet, which kind of tracks foodborne illnesses throughout the United States, at least on a federal level. So before July 1st, they were monitoring about a total of 10 pathogens, but now they're down to about two, with the most common being E. coli and salmonella. Critics are saying that this is going to slow the amount of information that is available to determine if there's an outbreak, but the CDC is suggesting that they, one, didn't have enough money, and two, there's already state-level procedures that are in place for this. Lastly, we have a study out of Nature Climate Change. They looked at 15,000 individuals throughout Taiwan during heat waves, and they found something pretty interesting. So this was a study of about 25,000 people, and what they found was that those that were exposed to more heat days or heat waves actually ended up increasing their age over time. For example, individuals who were exposed to just four extra days of heat waves over two years saw a biological aging of about nine days. It doesn't sound like much, but when you add that up over a lifetime, it can easily get to a year or two. So if you want a more in-depth analysis about everything that we talked about today, you can find that with the link in my bio to the Substack, or if you just want to help support the page, you can find some links for that as well. I will see you tomorrow for the rest of the news.